And then the only mystery dungeon on Switch is Chocobo. Rough actually switching up and going for the Springman. The really close to default Springman set, just substituting that boomerang for the slap there. Which is a pretty good call against Ribbon. I thought Grim might be staying with the Max Brass there because of the Via pick. But it is going to be a Ribbon. Both players are choosing to go for a similar uh, Bolt Fire Glove sets. Both trying to get that nice little 1 2 combo on each other. The only real difference here being in their defensive options, Rafa does have that deflect and more sideways movement patterns, while Grimwood has a lot of those jumps. And Grimwood is actually making much better use of those. Those jumps being really good at dodging uh, the tribal and Grim just cashing in, taking that rush, and taking the first round. Real, in a really dominant fashion, too. Let's see if things change with that slam for Rafa. Both players, like, are doing the thing where they kind of try to take center ground, but not really because they don't want to be too close. But it looks like Rafa is coming up on top of that, just slowly pushing Rim back to the corner, which is so deadly in Via, and just managing to, to get the wind rush confirm off in time. I thought that was going to go on the ground, because that was so close. And Rafa takes round two back with a perfect... Using that rush really close to the end though, so Grim does have rush advantage. Grim choosing to go for a bit more of the weight advantage to uh, counter that slam a bit more. But that slam still going around the side, getting a few really good hits on Ribbon's side jumps. Grimwood has closed in a lot more on Riffa though, and those double roasters just being so good at Knocking the opponent down. Rafa slowly inching his way back into the middle. Just just trying to take control of that. Grim being forced to just slowly retreat. Both players do have their rush now, and we have seen Rafa land that confirm off of the win from the slam. But it looks like Grim is getting a lot more heavy roaster hits in. And Grim is moving in to try to get that rush at the end, but is gonna <clears throat> miss a large portion of that. And Rafa does manage to get the counter rush in by breaking the shield. That still does put Grimm in a fairly good position though. But Rafa could take stuff back with a 1-2. It's not going to happen though. Grimm dodging everything that Rafa throws out and is going to be taking the second game. I didn't think we'd be in a timeline where Grimm was the new Ribbon main terrorizing Europe, but here we are. Via and Temple are going to be banned. So we are not going back there. Instead, Rafa is choosing to go to Mazo. Grim has announced a switch to Twintel. We're going to see if Rafa stays with that spring man, or if there's going to be a different pick for Mausoleum. Because Rafa has played a lot of characters now, but we have not seen a signature Cobra yet. Rafa has a lot of other picks in the arsenal too, like Rafa did spam that 
0.50 set uh, with the Ice Dragon Biffler Lola. That could be another option that works uh, fairly well on Mausoleum. Rafa taking a while to get the set, and it, it is going to be a Cobra. And is choosing to go for... Interesting. I wonder if that double popper is intentional. Rafa does definitely seem to be putting a lot of pressure onto Grim with that. But Grim can just punch through these with the roaster. That That is just a relentless barrage of pops. Both players do have their rush charged off, but holy crap, Grim's health just went down. I didn't even realize he's at rush range. And there's the wood confirm, and Riffa takes it with double popper. I'm sorry, but this worked way too well. I don't believe that this was unintentional. Grim does have the rush to start off the second round though, and does manage to get into close enough range for that roaster to hit. Grim does not want a repeat of round one, so is going to switch to two medium weight arms. Rafa upgrading the weight a bit to that Burchuk. And we are almost equalized in health too. Rafa get, gets the arm break there, does not manage to get anything <clears throat> from that though. Both players do have the rush. Well, just trying to find an opportunity to get that. And Rafa does manage to confirm off of an uncharged Burchuk with that super fast popper rush. Taking it. And Rafa will be moving on to the finale. I mean, the winner's finals.